Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love bonus reading. Uh, please only take what resonates, what makes sense, what fits for you. Whatever doesn't resonate, please just leave it on out. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, Aquarius, we're going to get started right into the reading. Let's see what we get here. disappointment here feeling like someone is disconnecting you might be feeling like you're ready to walk away wanting a new start wanting a new beginning leaving the disappointment behind you looking ahead looking forward focusing on the things that you want to do you want to achieve very powerful energy here with the magician being fully aware of your strength and what you want to do here the strength you have within yourself to overcome certain things uh again there's been a lot of disappointment in certain areas, but there is like a new start here. A beautiful power and strength in realizing what it is that you want and taking control here. Focusing on more positive energy, less chaos, drama, more peace I feel is important here. Wanting to just be, have fun and, and be in the moment here. But also have clarity. So let's see. It's a very strong connection between you and this person. Ace of Pentacles here. Five of Swords here. Knight of Swords. And death here so there's definitely an ending here for some of you walking away calling it quits ready to move forward move on what's new a new beginning some of you may have been dealing with someone who's too selfish too withdrawn um, too manipulative here very my way the highway like type of person uh yeah this is someone who can be kind of cruel kind of hurtful as well with their words a lot of chaos a lot going on here and i feel like you guys are just really wanting to leave it behind and bring some calm into your life focusing on that strength and that magician energy here that's you this person could be a scorpio could be a gemini virgo aquarius let's keep going Okay. Temperance here. Someone here may have been very um, ignorant to the issues here, and it only caused more issues because they were only focused on what they wanted. They letting everything pass by not dealing with the concerns with the issues and now it's become a, a big issue here and it's created a lot of change possibly Aquarius for you and this person there needs to be a lot of healing here coming together connecting together to heal yeah things are very quiet it's like you guys may not be speaking, not connecting well. You may feel someone's being very secretive here. When, not opening up. Feeling like it's a mystery. How they're feeling is a mystery here. Overflowing of emotions, but yet so withdrawn and so quiet. There's a lot of love here between you and this person, but again, it's just things I just feel it got kind of either out of control and it's like time to ring it back in, pull it back in, see the vision, 
face the issue. See the issue to face it. A lot of healing needed. Queen of Wands. You need to be honest, direct, truthful, be clear. This is what's important. That vision in moving forward and leaving behind the chaos and disappointment. Let's see. Let's look at their feelings. Look at their feelings. Their feelings, well, this person feels like you are someone who is positive, who is strong, who is very talented in what you do. You're their family, their happiness, their love. No matter how hard, no matter disappointment, all right, no matter personal issues, differences, conflict here. Everyone has their sides, right? But there's still a lot of love here. It's like their <laughs> their peace, their home is still yet with you, even when it's all over the place or it's at a really tough place. This person may also feel like you're making a decision here or maybe confused about where to go with this, confused about what's happening between the two of you. Feeling like there's a lot of information. Like you may be looking for a lot of information. Looking for things that aren't there. Unclear. Unsure. It's almost like this person doesn't see certain things as a big deal. They just want to move past it and move forward here. And just focus on how, you know, you two can flirt and love each other and just have fun. Uh, very much that full energy here. Focusing on the good things, but not for some of you, not dealing with certain things that need to be dealt with. And that's where the control needs to come in. Gentle control. Working it out, but seeing it to face it. There is happiness here. And this person feels it with you. It's like you light them up. This person also feels like you are very creative, very crafty, very gifted with things that you're into, things that you're passionate about. Very talented, gifted person. This is how they feel about you. And they love you. A lot of happiness. Wanting a family with you. Some of you might have a family with this person. Let's see. justice so the good to look out for here bringing things back into that balance not too hard not too quick not too slow the right care here the right time here taking ease to bring things back to balance to focus on truth and clarity and speaking of balance this is what it can be like when things go on too long uh, not being dealt with Aquarius, or there's just so much going on, you know, it's really easy to lose that balance here, especially in a relationship. But there's beautiful love here. So much attraction between the two of you. Again, that happiness, it's here. You both have it. You both have felt it. You both still feel it. It's just needing to get to that place of harmony and balance where you both can maintain it. A lot of truth here, needing to be smart, needing to be clear, looking at facts, being direct, being honest. You have the queen of uh, queen of swords on the bottom as well. Four. Getting away, leaving it behind, drama, chaos, conflict. Not seeing the issues, not dealing with the issues here. A lot to think about. Things feel. Uh, 
it's almost like with everything going on, there's a disconnect to where it's like, that's what's bringing the stillness here and the quiet or you two not speaking or things just being very off right now. But with thought and truth and clarity, I feel like it's like you both still want the same thing and still love and care about each other. It's just reining it in, bringing it in. Keeping that balance. Three of Swords. So, the red flags here. Someone who makes you feel alone and isn't putting in that work. Right? Needing to work out certain issues here to where there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is that warmth. There is that peace. It cannot just be separation, separation, and hurt after hurt. Uh, again, here it is. Queen of Swords. This is the time to speak up and speak your truth. I feel like this person can be very cold. If they're upset or when they're distant, they get to that. They get to that level, Grace. They can be very cold here. And it continues. So the red flag here may be cycles of coldness. And, and again, that separation to where it feels like you two are too separated and apart. But yet still so close together. Holding on. Working it out. So it's like there's this, this flip. Like there's sweet and there's kindness and there's someone who's so giving. But then also when things get crazy or things get tough, that coldness can come out. The main focus here is that balance and the abundance here in love and knowing, fully aware of what you want and leaving behind Aquarius what isn't serving you for your highest, greatest good. Get some more of the cards and see. I feel like this person is going to want to work on things here, though. And take it, you know, it's like they want to just take their time with it to do it right. Trust, building trust again. You know, that's the key here. Trust, feeling safe, feeling that warmth, that peace, the balance. But if not, if there's just going to be more my way, my way and coldness, if you don't get it, cycles of that kind of energy, then a lot of you are letting go. Focus on a new start. Let's see. Trust again. This is the important foundation here. This is what's needed. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. Very intense connection here. The power of it, very strong. The intensity of a true soul connection includes great highs and great lows. And it may just feel like this picture, very fractured right now. Like you're trying to put the pieces together, very fragmented, very intense. When it broke, when it shattered, very intense, still feeling it, but needing to build that trust. But also knowing for some of you, when you feel you're ready to let go. That message coming through very strong here too. Let's get more. I miss hanging out with you. Someone is not liking the disconnect. They're not liking the pause, the quietness. Yes. Someone sees a green light. Someone's ready to move ahead. Someone's ready to move forward. 
needing time to myself, feeling very isolated, just wanting to be alone, wanting to do your own thing. There's a lot going on in the mind here, that three of swords here. Just trying to work out feelings and heal, I feel is really important for a lot of you. But this person is thinking about you, your well-being, what's needed here, the strength that's here, the strength within you that I spoke about, Aquarius. Bringing it all in, that balance, that's key in building the trust between, I feel like, you and this person. Okay. Well, let's get that. Yeah, this person may be very sad with what's going on here between the two of you. Oh my, three times, Aquarius. Trust, trust, and trust. One, two, and three. Very important here for a lot of you. A lack of trust causing this to be fractured where it's at. This situation is calling for you to have faith, needing trust. Let's look at the bottom and letting go. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, this is the time for you to take control. For you to take the reins, ring it in, bring it back, bring it in. All that you want to do. All the changes you feel need uh, that need to be here, you need to see here, that need to happen here. It's a lot. It is very intense. But a lot of you are ready. Ready for what's new. Ready for that new beginning. And it's going to feel so powerful. And there is so many blessings here. Through all of this, all of the messages here, it's still like one and the same. All these cards I'm getting. Different messages, but yet still the same. The power and strength within you is the most important thing to realize here. For some of you who might be thinking about letting go, trusting in the situation, trusting in yourself, knowing that trust is important. This can be very intense. It can be very fractured. But taking the time you need is important. Yes, you will have the green light. You will get to where you need to go. That's the message here. Let's keep going. Self-love, beautiful card, beautiful energy, beautiful strength in loving yourself and taking that time, whatever you need to do with the time that you're taking. That's what it's about. That's where, look at this, do what you love. What did I say? Ring it back, bring it back, do what you want to do. Tap into that. I feel like that's the important thing here, being more aware of what it is that you want to do, tapping back into your power, that courage, that strength that you have and you always had it. Being like on this card, that's where it's at. Freeing yourself from all the unnecessary weight, stress. Having faith. This might be the time to put more into you, what you need. Even for those of you who are healing. Beautiful energy here. Do what you love. Heavy heart. Very intense connection. A very heavy heart. Uh, there's a lot of thought here between you and this person and what's going on. And it's like you both don't want this. You both don't want it to keep sinking with those, those highs and lows. The tide is really up right now. Heavy heart. But you can bring it back in. You can bring it back in. But it may take time. Some of you may just feel like this is the time that you need to just be by yourself. Someone here feels like they're just not ready. Okay, let's see. Okay. 
Okay, Aquarius, we're going to pull one and look at the bottom here. A surprise encounter is on its way to you. You've asked for this one way or another, and your wish is about to be granted. Soon you'll be giving thanks for all the blessings coming your way. And there definitely are blessings coming your way. Have faith. Trust. Trust. Do what you love. Take the time you need. Self-love, self-care. Okay. Your lovers see you as the type who knows what they want. You are not afraid to make bold first moves. Dominate the relationship. Speak up about your feelings. This may also pertain to a need for you to go after who or what you want. Let it be clear. Let it be known. You never know if you never try. Very important here about knowing what you want, going for what you want. The blessings will be there. No matter the time you need, have faith, trust. Okay. Same thing. Let's pull one and look at the bottom. Fantasy, dreams, fairy tale, imagination. This may be what it felt like with this person. An illusion, a manipulator, manip manipulative energy here. Creating that fantasy. But now you're seeing clear. Looking in the mirror here. Mirror, reflection, shared feelings, you. This is all about you. Doing what you love. Loving yourself, taking your time, tapping back into your power, into your strength, into all the possibilities here. It's about you, what you want here. Speaking up about your feelings and what you want or who you want. Blessings are coming your way. You'll soon be giving thanks. Have faith. All right. Aquarius, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.